Hey, what's up everybody? Tanvir here. Welcome back to my Adobe XD course. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today, we are going to learn how to work with the repeat grid in Adobe XD. So, let's jump into XD. So, here we go. You can see that I have already created an artboard here and also I have created a blog post here. It's just an example. So today's topic is the repeat grid here, this one. So before we talk about the repeat grid, let me tell you one thing. Suppose you are working on a website design project or that time if you have a blog post section over there what we do in that situation we just select the layer and just duplicate it like this see here like this but but using the repeat rate we don't need to do it manually by one by one it's easy so let me show it how you can see here I am in the layers panel just select the folder here the full one the blog post here are a few elements image text and shape select the folder and here you can see the repeat grid option click on it after that you will see a green color border here you can see two controls here by clicking this control you can repeat the grid horizontally or by this control you can repeat the grid vertically let me show it how just drag the control here to the right side and you can see and it just created two more posts and if you drag this control here to the bottom you can see it just created a another line now you can see that we have six blog post here if we want to change these images we don't need to do it manually we can just drag and drop our images here and just make sure that the repeat grid is selected now just go to the file manager and select a few photos from your computer and just drag them to the xd and here over the image like this just drop it here and we can see all the images are updated this is very interesting feature in Adobe XD and I really love it it just save our time a lot finally when you are done just click here on the ungroup grid like this and you can see all of the blog post folder here you can update or delete any blog post and this is how you can use the repeat grid option on your design project it will save a lot of time so that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video then press the like button and subscribe to my channel and also let me know your thoughts in comments below I'll get back to you soon with a new video again. In the next video, I'll talk about the plugins. So meanwhile, you guys stay focused and keep learning.